This bench may look a lot like other benches on the market. It has the sawtooth or ladder adjustment system for flat, incline, decline, and upright bench positions. But there are a few features that make this bench stand apart from the competition. The best part for you, the customer, is the ATX MBX660 does it all at a lower price than benches of a similar quality. Personally, I've been selling these particular benches or model of bench in Australia now for over 10 years. This model has been around a lot longer than that. It was previously branded Barbarian. During this time, I've seen ATX continually improve the design and features over the years. But this new version of the MBX660 has so many improvements now that makes it unbeatable value when compared to the competition. Now, ATX have added a docking point at the top of the bench. This is for their ab attachment or head extension pad for taller users. It's not a metal on metal job. It has their ATX sleeve system and their new custom pop pin. Straight away, that's a big improvement on the previous model. Now the docking section is housed in this 50 by 20 mil tube steel frame, which is the backrest support. When you have a look at this structure, you can see it's built to uh, handle its 500 kilo load rating. The pads are the same across the 520, 750 and 650 benches. They can be upgraded to polyurethane if you plan on using it in a high traffic gym environment. The backrest pivots on a steel axis. The gap between the backrest and seat pad is only three and a half centimeters in the flat position. You can adjust the angle with the laser cut support at the back. It is made from five mil thick steel plate and it pivots on bushes. So it's really smooth and it has to because it's got a bit of weight. So even in the incline positions, this thing's built like a tank. Check out this latch mechanism, which allows you to lock the backrest into position so you can store the bench in the upright position. The knurled handles just add that little bit of bling so you can show off to your mates. It might not seem like a big deal, but a handy little upgrade is this nylon sleeve on the locking bolt on the base of the adjustment arm. One issue with these ladder or sawtooth benches was the sound that, you know, someone that wasn't familiar with the bench generated when making adjustments, they'd go. Um, it was metal on metal and I could hear it in my office. I mean, ultimately who cares? Um, in a gym environment with weights clanging around, but you know, it's just a small little thing that is appreciated when you know what the history of this bench was. And while we're down there, you can see the angles have been laser cut into the frame, which makes it handy so you know which position for which exercise. For the flat bench position, there is a support bracket which pivots on bearings. With this in place, the this FID bench becomes as solid as any dedicated flat bench. It's IPF spec, so if you're a power lifter, you can use it for your bench press tr training without any fear of failure under heavy loads. At the bottom, it has these neat little wheel covers, which not only look great, but they also serve an important function. When storing in the upright position, they actually disengage the wheels. So it makes it more stable. It's sort of like a locking mechanism. But the main feature of the bench and where this really shines is the front where the att attachments dock. Just here. The MBX660 is a close second in popularity to the Ironmaster Superbench Pro. Just like the Superbench, it is an excellent FID bench in its own right. But being able to build on, on it with quality attachments really sets it apart from other benches in this price range. The current ATX attachment range includes the leg lift, pec fly, preacher curl, leverage, and they've got a preacher curl pad which we don't have out, plus the ab attachment. These attachments are not cheap but I do not know of any others that are better designed or better quality. Throw the leg lift attachment in this bench 
and you've pretty much got your own standalone leg extension leg curl machine. For a home user or personal trainer that is restricted on space, this just gives you more options for exercises without taking up extra space. In summary with this bench, the quality of the ATX benches are equal to, or in some people's opinion, better than the, the market leaders or supposed market leaders like Rogue and Rep from the US. So our current retail price of $900 makes this bench amazing value for the following reasons. I'm not aware of another bench that offers this much in terms of features, attachments, and build quality at this price. If there is a bench, has that bench been around as long as the MBX660 and undergone the same amount of refinement under years of real world usage? That's the best place to um, refine your bench. Nothing beats time as far as improvements and refinements to make a bench better.